<laughs> what are you doing? Good morning. We got to clean you up. You want to try pee pee in the potty today? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Come on. Obsession with cars. So Noah loves his little table. Got this table and chair set for Christmas. And him and his sister have been loving sitting at this table. My daughter's six, so yeah. It's little, but she likes sitting here. And they actually eat their food much more sitting at this table. It is available on Amazon. It is just a gloomy day. I haven't been back there in so long. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today is gonna be real chill. We're gonna talk about some things later on. Um, I might go to Target, I don't know. I definitely have to go to the bank. But as you can see, it's like gloomy outside, it's rainy. Well, I don't know if it's raining right now, but I don't know if I wanna go out. But I've been seeing a lot on Instagram about you know moms of like little ones saying you know what no matter what get out of the house no matter what the weather is well maybe not no matter because if it's like severe weather obviously you don't want to take your kids out i need to adopt that mindset that we have to go outside even if it's just in my backyard like it's ridiculous how i have a backyard and i don't even go outside for that yes baby yes baby what happened mommy? what happened mommy i'm right here mommy mommy's right here Mwah. Oh, thank mommy. you. Mommy? You gonna share with me? Mommy. Huh? Dad. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You're so cute. Yeah. Uh, okay, Dad. no more. No more. That's for Noah. As you can see, I did part of my workout. It's about I'm 14 right now, so I did my Pilates workout about an hour ago. After the bus picked up my daughter, I just came to the living room to do a little workout because Noah was chilling in his room watching TV. He had his milk, so he was like not really eager to come downstairs. Perfect opportunity to get it done because it's a short workout. It was 20 minutes, and what I'm trying to do is do pilates twice a week i started last week and i'm trying to do pilates that's specific to diastasis recta but it's really hard to find videos so i'm gonna mix it up i'm gonna do some diastasis recti videos and then maybe like beginner friendly pilates don't sleep on pilates it looks super simple to do it's, it's hard it's hard because you're like using these muscles that you normally don't and you have to focus on your breathing and engaging your core all at the same time while doing the movement and so it could be a little tricky i definitely was sweating a little bit i'm supposed to do cardio today as well and i wanted to take a walk outside instead of taking the bus to do my errands and count that as my cardio but that's not gonna happen maybe i'll just have some breakfast um i'm already drinking my greens so i'll have a quick breakfast and then try to do my errands quickly and come back and chat with you guys about what's been going on in my life and the changes that are coming up if you don't know my daughter is autistic she's six years old she is currently in school she's in first grade i've just been dealing with some stuff with her at home and just looking into some outside resources so i'll talk to you guys about that and just some changes that will be coming up very very soon of course my battery needs to get charged before i go so i can't go anywhere just yet these workout leggings i got are so nice and very very affordable like if you shop for leggings you know leggings ain't cheap and these babies are 24 dollars okay i was having some issues with leggings i literally broke all my black leggings i had a couple of pairs i just love black i'm a thick girl okay and so thick girls have issues with the inner thighs and I was getting holes and I ripped my leggings. I was so mad. <laughs> and I'm like, I need to get me another pair of black leggings. Let me show you. These are the leggings. Very, very stretchy. When I say very stretchy, like look at that. I am wearing a size large. I'm around 165 pounds. 
I fluctuate, but I'm five feet and I'm wearing size large. These look so nice and soft. It has a thicker band here, so it does have a little bit of tummy control, but not like a whole lot. There's a little pocket on the inside here. I love them. I love them. And you know that you have to do a squat test. Test out the material. So I can bend, I can squat, I can stretch. Like what? You know not every material you could do that with because they will rip. These babies ain't ripping. The best. $24 I have ever spent. Go get you a pair. I'm linking these. Um, everything that I link from Amazon is going to be in my storefront, which makes it easier so you can find things later on. Um, so I'll always link my Amazon storefront and then the direct link to the items. <laughs> My son is sleeping right now, so I figured I'd take a moment to talk to you guys for a little bit. Running errands was a hot mess today. Noah was just so cranky, and he was... My toddler was toddlering, screaming, hysterical. I don't know how I got through doing my stuff at the bank, and we went to Target. That was a very short trip, as you can see. Like, I barely filmed anything. He was just doing the most. So... Here's what's been going on. As I mentioned earlier, my daughter is autistic. We have been taking her to therapy once a week after school um, for probably like two months now. And the reason being is she has been having some troubles with her behavior, controlling her emotions, getting angry and aggressive sometimes uh, mostly at home than at school so we started taking her to therapy and then i started questioning things about her behavior like she's like very hyper at home and kind of does like stuff impulsively i guess and i was thinking maybe it's just part of autism i don't know then i started learning about adhd and so i was talking that over with um the person she sees at the resource center, she decided that we should do a psych psychological evaluation for her. So we did that last week and Alina was just like all over the place. She couldn't stay still. She was just like super active. It's very hard to get her to answer questions like that, to focus. She was just like all over the place. They want her to get evaluated for autism again because I don't know if you guys know this, but we moved from New York to Connecticut. She never got an official, I guess, evaluation since her initial diagnosis. So we're gonna do that so that we can find out where she's at right now and her exact needs. And I just found out that the wait list for that is one year. But thankful that Alina's already getting help. It's just getting her more help. Because I really want to focus on learning more, finding new strategies and tools and things like that to help her to help me and just bring an understanding to these behaviors and to not necessarily like fix the behaviors but just how to deal with them and understanding like why she's doing certain things and how we can go about helping her through those now we're looking into getting aba therapy at home which would be amazing that's a process that i'm trying to get through being in an office setting for her is just really not helpful nothing is getting accomplished there so we're just gonna stop that that's one thing that i've just been juggling and trying to figure out the last two months I'm no longer gonna be a stay-at-home mom i'm going to be a working stay-at-home mom now i'm nervous and i'm excited but i will be working from home in two weeks and i'm just like overwhelmed with emotions because this year has just been such a struggle financially doing things with the kids and just me trying to figure out motherhood like my place in motherhood and taking care of myself while taking care of others that has just been 
a really really big struggle this year yeah i'm actually going to be working with the company that i worked at previously it is a different position but i'll be able to work from home um, i'm just not used to being on somebody else's clock being a stay-at-home mom for six years i've just been been able to do things on my own time but i've learned to multitask i've learned to take on so many roles and so many things in this house i went back to school i went to school full-time online i i um i've been dealing with her autism diagnosis i've been juggling things for my self-care for everyone in this house learning to juggle so many things and this is just another thing <laughs> to add but i'm excited and i am hopeful for the future i'm hoping that everything works out i have struggled to find work whether it's part-time or whatever i can do during my own time i have been struggling to find balance and flexibility where i can be there for alina um i may not be able to get up and go when i want but at least i am near my kids that's what's important to me being able to be here so we're starting off some training i have a very long training process and it's going to be about four to five months maybe during that time i do have to um i do have to like be doing like zoom calls and stuff like that i don't know how much of the day is going to be like that so i have decided to put noah into daycare temporarily luckily i'm walking distance from a daycare so that's awesome i've already toured with them i just have to set everything up with that and then the job itself i don't need to be on the phone i don't to, i don't need to be on no videos like i just do my work on the computer and get it done so i don't remember where exactly i left off i'm gonna be going back to work and i still want to create content i still want to upload on youtube i want to be present on all my platforms also work on my fitness goals and just juggling everything it's just going to be a matter of rearranging my schedule again like i only do like 30 minute workouts so unless i'm doing cardio then my workout is longer so since my workouts are not that long i just need to find a 30 minute window throughout my day whether in the morning during my lunch break or right after work to just get it done those are the three options i am not doing it any other time either be getting up early some days i know i can't do that every day because i just need sleep so i will be sharing with you guys like my process how i'm trying to fit everything in and you know still work on my goals still work on the things that i'm always talking about here on this channel showing up for myself doing the things that are going to feed my mental my spiritual and my physical you know just because i'm adding a job to my plate like a, an official job does not mean that i stop doing those things i want to continue to work on me and bettering myself because i know it's going to bring me joy it's going to make me feel better it's going to help me be a better mom it's going to help me be a better wife and those are just non-negotiables to me i have to do it i don't know how how often i'm gonna do uploads i would like to stick to once a week like i've been doing consistently um but let's see how it goes i have been putting a lot of energy into tiktok doing short form videos is really easier for me to do in my busy schedule and so i've been working on just filming the things that i already do filming things to motivate you and motivate me as well make sure you follow me on all my social medias on instagram tiktok i'll leave the links as always my links are going to be in the description so when i was at target i picked up this alani new energy drink this is a cherry slush i've never had it before let's crack this baby open I like it i'm gonna drink this and i'm actually going to do a walking workout because i didn't even get 3,000 steps i don't know this watch doesn't always catch my steps and it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon and i barely got any steps in 
so we're gonna increase that it's tired i'm just tired and um yeah we're gonna go for five thousand and up nothing less than that this is this is what we do over here we focus on self-care and we make sure that whatever self-care is to you do that do what makes you feel better it's the things that you do daily it doesn't always have to be about weight loss and looking pretty it just the little things that you do on a daily basis or often make yourself a prayer <laughs> We are now at 5,620 steps. I got like 3,000 steps from that, and that was low impact. That, that felt really good. It wasn't strenuous on my body at all. Really enjoyed that one. That was from Juice and Toya. I'm definitely going to be doing that one again. So my son is still sleeping, so I'm going to have a quick protein shake. Um, I'm going to take a shower and then come back down to prepare my lunch. My daughter will be here in about two hours. Thanks for listening to me ramble. I just want to say that motherhood is full of obstacles and we're always having to adjust. We're always having to adjust our schedules and adjust to changes that happen with our kids or anything outside of our kids. I just hope that watching my content brings you some encouragement and motivation. No matter what your schedule looks like, like no matter your lifestyle like even if you're not a mom i hope this encourages you to find time for yourself and work on your mindset work on the things that you need for yourself also getting an inside look of motherhood and if you are a mom i hope that this encourages you also keep going know that you are doing the best that you can do you are stronger than you think and i know that's cliche but sometimes you really have to look at like wow i have gone through so much i've endured a lot and i always come out on the other side i always pull through and it's just a struggle that we all have to go through and i just hope that you find the time to work on your mindset because working on your mindset no whenever you can throughout your day is really going to be so helpful to how you handle what life throws at you my journey and your journey may not be the same your lifestyle may not be the same but i hope that you find something relatable in my videos that's going to encourage you to try to make some changes in your life and try to work on what is going to feed you mentally, physically, emotionally. I work on my faith and it's a struggle. It's not easy, but it's what helps me to push through on a daily basis. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Also, give me a like or a comment down below. Um, any encouragement that you want to send to me or maybe just we can encourage each other. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.